We need to put some theory to understand why tar target tracking in Cartesian actually works. The theory allows us to comprehend why it works and thus how to better use it. If we have a camera, and the camera is in 3D space, and we have a target, and the target is in 3D space. In order to move my camera in space, in X, Y, and Z, I need three large axes of motion on my machine. So I need a large axis that moves my camera in X, in Y, and in Z. Correspondingly, if I'm going to move my target in X and Y and Z, I need three small axes that will move my target in X, Y, and Z. In order for target tracking to work, I have to have a kinematics model. The kinematics model we looked at earlier is def a definition of the shape of the machine and its sizes and what each axis does to the camera. Thus, in order for target tracking to work, I have to have three large axes, one that moves the camera in X, one that moves the camera in Y, one that moves the camera in Z. And these axes are target tracking axes. In other words, if I move my camera I want my target tracking axes to do that without my needing to resort to moving individual axes. I want to be able to move my camera in 3D space and have my target tracking axes just do that as slaves to the mathematics of the movement of my camera. Correspondingly, if I want to move my target in 3D space, X, Y, Z, I need three target tracking type axes that will move my target in X, Y, and Z and not need to resort to which axis does what because the kinematics file defines which axes are target tracking axes and what they do to the camera and where the camera is looking. Therefore, I have, when I look at my axes, in each axis setup, I have a type of axis. The rotate here is a target tracking axis. The lift is a target tracking axis. The arm is a target tracking axis. The lift moves my camera in Z. The rotate moves my camera in Y. The arm moves my camera in X. Therefore, I have three large axes that move my camera and define where in space it is, or are slaves to the movement of the camera and merely do as they're told in order to get the camera to the correct position. Correspondingly, if I look at my pan axis, it's a target tracking axis. If I look at my tilt axis, it's a target tracking axis. My focus axis is a focus type. Now, if I have a target 
and a camera. When I pan the camera, the target is moving in space. So pan as a target tracking axis is obeying the commands of what I want the target to do. My tilt moves my target in space, vertically, in Z. So my tilt is a target tracking axis and defines or is defined by what I do with my target. My focus moves my target in X with respect to the camera. Therefore, I can move my camera in X, Y, Z, my target in X, Y, Z. I have one other target tracking axis and that is roll. And as we have seen, with this machine, in order to go into Cartesian control and reliably know what our camera is going to do, I have to fix the roll somehow by using roll level or roll up, rather than roll moves. Roll moves implies that my roll is free to do whatever it likes. And if a target tracking axis is free to do whatever it likes, then anything can happen. So for Cartesians to be functional on this machine, I have to go into roll level or roll up. And thus, I don't have to worry about what my roll is going to do. Mm -hmm.